Hello, I'm Jim Dixon. Welcome to Top Beer. So you've been at work all day, you put in a hard graft, you've got a parched throat, you come home, you open the fridge, and you grab yourself a can of Cronenberg 1664. Although Cronenberg is a French brewing company, it's hard to exactly pinpoint where the UK 1664 comes from. From what I can make out, it was once brewed by Scottish in Newcastle, in Berkshire and Manchester, but their operations have since been sold to Carlsberg, a Danish company. If anyone's interested, they'll probably be commenting on this video, so look down at the comments for further information. This can still says Scottish in Newcastle, but whatever. Uh. Mm. That moment when you just get home after a long day and crack one of these, you can't beat it. It's bright and it's bold and it's got some bite to it. It's what you want in a lager, really. In Australia, where I come from, Cronenberg 1664 is like a premium export that you drink in these little glass bottles. But here it's just your cheap knockabout buy from Tesco kind of lager that you'll always have in the fridge. It's a bit like Stella Artois. In Australia you drink that out of little glass bottles at a restaurant. But here that's just something you knock back out of a can in between mixing cement and beating your wife. Cronenberg recently introduced the dynamo system to certain cans of 1664. Which is one of those floating widgets that you get in a lot of cans of ale. It's supposed to make the bubbles smaller and therefore make the beer smoother. As if they forgot that it's supposed to be a lager. It's like they took ale drinkers and lager drinkers and then alienated both target audiences. It's a bit like Need for Speed Shift. As far as I'm concerned, it's pretentious, high concept and destined to be a flop. So if you want the proper Cronenberg experience, stick with the original. Now I'd like to change gears slightly and discuss the shocking facts that apparently there's around 50 pubs a week closing in Britain. Now this is not acceptable, so what I need you people to do is get out there, get your mates together, get down to your local and order a pint, take your nan out for Sunday roast, whatever, but British pubs need you. I've been Jim Dixon, until next time, bottoms up, but drink responsibly. See you next time on Top Beer.